Welcome to my unboxing video for the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. This is the first unboxing video on my channel, and hopefully the first of many. This was actually given to me by Element14, link to their site in the description, to review because of a contest I entered on the site. So huge thank you to them, this is a great opportunity for me, and something I'm really excited about. Uh, the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B is the newest version of the Raspberry Pi. Announced on February 2nd, 2015, the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B features the same board design as the previous Model B Plus, but with plenty of changes to the components. It features the new Broadcom BCM2836 system on chip, a quad-core 900MHz CPU with 1GB of RAM, and the same GPU as the previous 2835 SC. The new CPU's base clock it has increased from the previous Pi models by 200MHz, going from 700MHz base to 900MHz base. And the addition of three more cores means that the Pi is up to six times faster than the previous Model B+. The one gigabyte of RAM is double what the previous Model Bs featured, something that provides a massive performance boost for multitasking. First off, let's look at the box. The original Raspberry Pi Model B case was rather uninspiring and boring. However, the new case is designed to shout, Hello, I'm a Raspberry Pi, and is quite a bit more attractive. Looking on the front, it's got a Raspberry Pi logo and a number 2. Uh, also, Raspberry Pi 2, Model B 1GB, and the Raspberry Pi Foundation's logo. Down at the bottom, you've got the Element 14 logo and their website. Up in the corner, it says, Six times faster, make, learn, design, and... I'm going to move on to the side. It's got the Raspberry Pi logo, all in white. It says Raspberry Pi 2 and Model B 1 gigabyte. The other side is exactly the same. So going on to the back, we've got the Raspberry Pi logo, and then the key features and benefits. The quad-core Broadcom BCM2836 CPU with 1 gigabyte of RAM, 40-pin extended GPIO, micro SD slot, multiple ports, the four USB ports, full-size HDMI, four-pole stereo output, and composite video port. A CSI camera port and a DSI display port. And then micro USB power source. It also includes a link to the Element 14 Raspberry Pi page for getting started. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and check out what's inside. Well, first off, obviously the Raspberry Pi 2 in a ESD bag. And a quite hefty, well, not hefty, but Quite a bit thicker than the previous versions. It's got a little booklet. Um, previous versions of the Raspberry Pi included a little leaflet. This is a full-on booklet. Quite a bit of reading there. Something to do on a rainy day. Looking at the hardware side of things, we've got right in the middle the Broadcom BCM2836 system on chip. Right next to that, we've got a nice little Raspberry Pi logo. And then up here, it says Raspberry Pi 2 Model B version 1.1, copyright Raspberry Pi 2014. If we come down to the bottom, we've got a micro USB port, which is what powers the Pi. And then to the right of that, we've got the HDMI port, which is what allows you to connect your Pi to the TV. And then two ports over, we have the four pole stereo and composite video output port. Coming around the back, we've got the Ethernet port and the dual USB 2.0 ports for a total of four USB ports. And then coming around again, we've got the GPIO pins. It's the same 40-pin extended version as is on the Model A Plus and Model B Plus Raspberry Pi. And finally, we have the DSi display port and the CSi camera port. I'm going to be testing the Raspberry Pi camera module with the Pi 2 in a later video. So, my initial thoughts. I haven't had much time to play with the Pi itself, as I've only had the Pi for 5 days and I've been working to get this initial video out but from what I've seen, it's going to live up to the 6x faster branding. The only micro SD card I had was a class 4 4GB one, but even with it being class 4, the Pi 2 booted noticeably faster than my previous Model B with class 10 card. I'm ordering a class 10 card for the Pi 2, and it'll be interesting to see what boot times I can achieve. I did do a bit of web surfing on the Pi 2 just to test the waters a bit, and it was performing far better than my Model B. The web browser pulled up very quickly, and I was able to load several pages at once without any super noticeable lag. The same goes for Minecraft Pi Edition. 
that came up quite a bit faster than on my other Pi, and although the world generation time wasn't too much shorter, the lag that the previous Pi models would have if you were flying rapidly through your world, or even walking for that matter, was virtually non-existent. I also loaded up the Ubuntu Snappy Core image, and that booted just fine, although noticeably slower than Raspbian. However, that makes sense because Raspbian has been heavily optimized for the Raspberry Pi, and Ubuntu Snappy Core has not. I'm not the first to the party on this one. Several other people have already bought or received a Pi 2, and have already done extensive reviews. I'll link one or two in the description. So if you've already read one of those other reviews, then mine may not be anything new. However, I do have plans to do plenty of videos covering different parts of the Pi 2, and what it can do, so hopefully those will be coming out soon. So that wraps up my Raspberry Pi 2 unboxing video. Please feel free to leave a comment down below telling me what you thought of the unboxing, and if you have anything you want me to try out on the Pi 2 for a future video. If you feel so inclined, please do leave a like and subscribe, that's always appreciated. Thanks for watching, this has been Avis Tech.